As you approach our next destination, you will see an imposing structure facing the south administrative building. The limestone finish with towering columns, steep stairs, and a massive dome construct a popular icon on the Carolina campus, Wilson Library. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of Lewis Round Wilson, President Harry Woodburn Chase, the architect Arthur Cleveland Nash, and John Spruit Hill, the Carolina community has the eerily beautiful building we know as Wilson Library. If one were to walk on campus today, almost every student would know Wilson Library and may even mention its resemblance to Hogwarts. Wilson Library was originally constructed in 1929. The library was originally named the University Library, but in 1956, the name was changed to Lewis Round Wilson Library. Lewis Round Wilson was a leading champion for building not only a new library, but a library that would concur with the university's growing prestige. During the 1920s, many new buildings on campus were constructed to accommodate the growing student population. Over the years, Wilson Library has seen many additions and renovations, with the last being in 1987. Chase and Wilson pushed hard for a new library and commonly said the library is the heart of the campus. Today, this still resonates throughout campus as many students pile into our numerous libraries on campus each day to fill the same academic desire those years ago possessed. Wilson Library holds our special collections, including the Southern Historical Collection, Southern Folklife Collection, Rare Book Literary and Historical Papers, University Archives, and the North Carolina Collection Photographic Archives. This library has conservation and sound preservation laboratories in order to properly maintain these rare collections. The library also houses the offices of the Triangle Research Network, the Carolina Digital Library, and the Documenting the American South Project. If all of these wonderful resources were not enough, Wilson Library also hosts many exhibits that staff proudly give tours through daily. Some of these exhibits change frequently, making Wilson Library a wonderful place with constantly new and changing knowledge to share. On the first floor of Wilson Library, to the right of the entrance, the North Carolina Collection Gallery can be found. This is a permanent exhibit showcasing our rich North Carolina history. I'm sure many of you are unaware of the relationship between Wilson Library and the Moorhead Patterson Bell Tower, two iconic locations on campus. They sit directly across from one another, separated only by South Road. The library was constructed first and the bell tower followed in 1931. John Moorhead had been wanting to help fund a library for the campus for years and asked Wilson if he could build a bell tower upon the new library. After being denied this opportunity, Moore had decided to construct a separate entity altogether, the iconic bell tower on campus. The Moorhead Patterson Bell Tower was constructed, however, behind Wilson Library so that it fits perfectly over the dome to give the effect that the library is wearing a dunce cap. If you find yourself in the basement of Wilson in the music library, you will find a cozy nook in the middle. Here you can ironically enjoy a beautiful view of the bell tower. When planning a trip to Wilson Library, there are a few important aspects you should know. Wilson Library is found on the heart of campus in Polk Place. It sits directly across from the South Building and beside the Undergraduate Library, your next stop. It is currently open to the public Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Parking around the library directly is scarce. A few spots are available behind the library off South Road. There's Ramps Hand Parking Deck at 33 Ridge Road, and metered parking is available all along South Road and Country Club Road. Franklin Street also offers parking with a few parking decks on Rosemary Street as well. These options are further from the library, but they do offer a scenic route through the UNC campus. Entrance into Wilson Library includes the front stairs facing Polk Place, the back entrance facing South Road, a ramp on the east side facing the undergraduate library, and a side door on the west side of the library. The ramp is near the entrance to the music library, which can be found in the basement of Wilson Library. Once inside, stairs and elevators can be found for easy access to reach the many beautiful rooms. If your visit includes research, the library's website offers a catalog for your convenience. For those who wish to find a place to study, the Fearington Reading Room on the third floor is a wonderful place to go. Wilson Library is known on campus for its exceptionally quiet atmosphere, so be prepared to only do individual work here. CCI printing can be found in the music library found in the basement. 
the music library is open Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. It is closed on Saturdays.